Hi there, it's Emily from We'll Always Have a Pair of Studios with a quick card video. This actually is not a very quick card, it's just going to be a quick video. This card took me quite a while, um, but I knew that going in because I wanted it to be really special. Um, so I'm going to first walk you through what the card says and its meaning, and then I will show you how I did it. So this card is going to be for my brother. He is turning 30 in a couple of weeks. and I'm actually really proud of how this turned out. I'm not sure how the idea occurred to me. I just sort of, as I was gathering product and I noticed some of the things that I had, I realized that I could make this little project. So this card actually started um, as a plain piece of 8.5 by 11. I trimmed it to um, 11 by 5 and a quarter, and then I scored it at 3 and 3 quarters by 7 and a half. So it turned into a trifold. Um, now those measurements are not perfect so you probably don't even need to know them because it, it, it did turn out a little bit uneven but I'm fine with it. Um, it turned out just how I wanted it to. So before I open it <laughs> I should give you a little background on what this means. If you have never watched How I Met Your Mother there's a character named Barney who is all the time saying it's gonna be legendary and sometimes most of the time he even says it's gonna be legend wait for it dairy and it's a, it's a really funny show and my brother's the one who introduced it to me and I just love it and that's kind of become a catchphrase with us anytime like something really cool or exciting is gonna happen we at least I say <laughs> it's gonna be legendary and uh, my brother's really special to me he he and I have become very close as we've gotten older and um, I think he's a pretty legendary person. So, anyway, the front of the card says turning 30, a timeline. And then you got your dot, dot, dot. And then you open it up. Now, this is a timeline not only of his years here, but, um, you know, leading up to his 30th birthday, but also of uh, kind of, of music. And he's a big music lover, and so am I. And so, I was noticing as I bought this stamp set that I, I had the tools to make a little timeline, which would just be perfect in the timeline of his years 1 through 30. So we're starting here in 1981 with uh, an older radio, You Are Legend, <laughs> and then, wait for it, with a boombox, 1996, and then Legendary, legendary, and then I put and you are because he is, and um, an iPod or MP3 player in the year 2011. So um, let's see here. This is from Street Sign Solutions cartridge. It's a font cartridge that, um, if you don't have it, I'm gonna have to say good luck getting it because I really struggled finding it. It was one I really wanted for a long time, and then finally got it. I'm not even sure. I think I finally won a bid on eBay for it. So that's from Street Sign. And the paper is from Die Cuts with a View, Packet Full of Posies. And then the shadow feature was done on just some Wasau orange cardstock. All of the white writing you see is from the Uniball Signo Pen. Um, you can pick those up online. I think I also have seen them at Archivers. And. Again, this is all freehand. All the writing is freehand, so it's not perfect, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. This stamp here is from an American Crafts stamp set called Sing Along, and I've stamped it with Versamark powder, or excuse me, Versamark ink onto some Wasau Golden cardstock, and then that's Ranger ultra fine silver embossing powder. And here is the stamp set. It's from Hobby Lobby, I do believe. Oops. And it's so funny because this is one of those I looked at and I thought, oh, it's really cute, but how would I ever use it? Well, I they had a really good sale and I picked it up and what I really wanted it for was this good golly gee whiz. But now I found an amazing use for this one and this one here I didn't even notice when I bought it is a hydrangea and that's going to be our wedding flowers. So I found already found several uses for that hydrangea. So yeah, really, really cute and it retails for $5.99. 
So that's where this radio came from. This boom box I've had for quite a while and it is by Imaginus. It's a single stamp. $1.99 from Archivers back when they used to have the hotspot. I believe they've done away with that. Um, so I did this on some coconut swirl basil cardstock, also from Archivers, and I colored it with Copics. Excuse me there. Colored it with YR07, which is orange, and Y38 honey. The blues are B02 Robin's Egg Blue and B05 Process Blue. Sorry, it's kind of going off camera because I can't read with these glasses. And then the greens are YG03 Yellow Green and YG63 Pea Green. So I just colored those in really carefully and blended them and then I cut them out with um, Cutter B precision tip scissors. And then finally, this MP3 player is from Paisley. Now, I cut this at two and a half inches, but I trimmed a lot off. Like, there are headphones. I even layered them and everything, but obviously they were too big. They didn't fit well, so I just trimmed them right off. <laughs> this is using some basil coconut swirl and uh, basil bling silver cardstock. So that is the finished product. I really hope that he likes it. I had a lot of fun. I was so excited when I realized that these three very different companies and three very different products uh, could form this perfect little project for me. So if you see this, happy birthday, Rannon. We love you, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.